Have either of you considered quitting your jobs as a result of the torture scandals? We don't talk to the press, sorry. We use coins. Dot com! Lots of soldiers here today, although some of them don't seem to be going into this building. So, oh, now I've got a question for you. Certainly. Is there any order you wouldn't follow? If it's a lawful order, it's my duty to follow it if it's a lawful order. So how do you determine? I mean, if you're asked to take Americans' guns, for instance, would you say no? Depends on the situation, sir. Again, you have to, you have to evaluate each order as it's given. All right. All right. Thanks for answering the question. I'm assuming she's going to come in the back entrance. Who? The governor. So I'm just trying to catch you. So I'm going to show it to them, and then I'll be handing off the citation to turn the order to you. So just to be ready. And General P does know. Could I ask what, what, what the military presence is for here today? Oh, thanks. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll let you finish. And, uh, We're presenting a, a medal to General... The governor will be presenting a medal today to General Riddell. Okay, is he the adjutant general? He is from the state of New Hampshire. The Air Force guy? Correct. Okay, yeah, I've met him. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Now, I do have another question I asked her before. Uh, have you given much thought to what orders you would refuse to follow if you were given an order that is unethical? Um, I would refer that to our public affairs officer, actually. Would you do that in the field when you're given the order? No. So, um, but um, we're in the middle of something right now, so I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. So you're going to wait for... Um, Well, I told them I let them finish, so I let them finish. This is the area reserved for the, I guess, roughly six big wigs. Now, one I would ask is if there's any flexibility in the course of whatever the deliberations Just Ridley. <laughs> Just Ridley. And I'm still recording. <laughs> okay. Great to meet you. Sorry. I'm the uh, public affairs officer of the New Hampshire National Oh, they were the person that, that... Hang on just a second, I may have to catch the governor. Well, I may have to interrupt you. Um, I was referred to you with a question. Um, I asked one of your people, I think. Is there any... I asked them if, if they'd given any thought of what they would do if they were given an unethical order. And they referred me to you. And I told them you're not going to be able to do that was in that, the field. <laughs> was that over here just earlier? It was over there, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would you do if you were given an unethical order? I wouldn't follow it. Yeah. Great. If you were ordered to confiscate the firearms of harmless Americans, would you follow that order? Never. You'd face the penalties that they would probably come down on you with. If that day ever happened, then we'd be in big trouble. It seems like it's getting close sometimes. 
All right. I appreciate you being willing to answer questions. <laughs> Anyways, I saw uh, I saw your interview with my boss, Jim Riddell, from a while back. It's popular. You asked him the same question. So. Right. So you were ready for it. <laughs> well, not necessarily. I just wanted to say hi because I've gone to your YouTube site a few times. Oh, thanks. So you're doing some good stuff. I appreciate that. I didn't know the military liked me. Well, there are definitely people that occasionally will email me from both the military and the police, and they will say, you know, I appreciate this or I appreciate that. So, I sense that you can't say everything you would like to, but um, I look forward to the day when you're a free man again and you can. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good to meet you. What was your name again? Greg. Greg Hylesworth. Okay, Mr. Hylesworth. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Gentlemen, sorry to interrupt. Have either of you considered quitting your jobs as a result of the torture scandals? We don't talk to the press, sorry. Is there any order you wouldn't follow? The Kaiser's Germans in World War I did not use torture, according to Churchill. Is your army worse than the Kaiser's Germans? Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please, starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.